Most importantly, add all the bacon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be scared. So this burger right here is basically the same thing as a spicy tuna roll, but in burger form. So to make our sushi bun, it's super simple. We've got some sushi rice right here. And if you can't find sushi rice, all you need to do is add a little bit of rice wine vinegar to your cooking liquid when you're making regular rice. And you'll see that it'll get really sticky and pliable. We're just gonna take some nonstick spray and spray our bowls. This will help everything get loose and slide right out when you're ready to make your burger. We're gonna grab some rice and just pat it down. And then we're just gonna wrap it with plastic wrap, pop it in the fridge for at least two hours, but up to 48. So this is a spicy tuna part. I'm just gonna take some QB mayo, some sriracha for heat, and right here we've got some sesame oil, some sweet chili sauce, and a little bit of soy sauce. And then you're just gonna mix it up. So this goodness is like what's inside a spicy tuna roll. It's really flavorful, it smells awesome. That sesame oil is just so delicious. And now let's assemble the sandwich. So we'll take our first sushi rice. So we're gonna gently just get and plop it out. It's pretty, right? And then we're gonna add a layer of avocado. And then you're gonna hit your avocado with a little bit of salt. And then you wanna just take your ahi, the spicy tuna mixture, and place it on top. And now let's top it with the sauces. Some Kewpie mayo, sriracha, and a little bit of eel sauce. Then we add some cilantro. And then add your crispy fried garlic right on top. Okay, so first we're going to make the Asian slaw. We add a little bit of Kewpie mayo, some rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, a little bit of sugar, balance it out, and some dried ginger. And then we're going to basically just mix this up and toss it with a little bit of mint, cabbage for some crunch, some cilantro, carrot, and Thai basil. We just mix it up until it's all coated. All right, so to begin, we're just going to heat up some oil. And we want it to get to like 350 to 375, enough to get like a really nice crispy crust. As this is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and mix the egg wash. Looks good. We'll set it aside and make the dredge. We've got some all-purpose flour, some cornstarch to keep it super crispy, and just some salt. All right, so now we're gonna fry some chicken. Grab a piece, put it in the egg wash so that the flour sticks to it real well. Move it around in the flour so that every little bit is coated so we get a really beautiful crispy crust. And then you'll just wanna shake off the excess flour and carefully add it in. Look at that bubble. That's exactly what we want. And we'll let it cook. Ah, gorgeous. And this is super easy. You just add some chicken stock, some of that sesame oil, sugar. This is rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, and cornstarch, poison, sriracha. Just whisk it together. So for the next step in making soy sauce, we're just gonna start with a little bit of oil. And then we'll add some minced ginger, some minced garlic, and chopped scallions. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, and then we're just gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna add the sauce. Give it another stir. Take your fried chicken pieces, 
kind of put it around in the sauce. You want it fully coated because this stuff is so good. But you also want to be careful not to crush or break off any of the nice fried chicken crust. So now we'll build the sandwich. So we've got our bottom bun, the first piece of fried chicken, the second piece of fried chicken, and then add some of that herby slaw. Just stack it high. And then we're just gonna finish with a drizzle of pupae mayo. Don't be scared. And then the top bun. I am obsessed with this sandwich. When you eat it all in one bite, it's just, it'll blow your mind. This is the ultimate breakfast sandwich. First things first, we're going to begin by whisking some eggs. Add a little splash of hot sauce, and then we'll add just a little bit of salt. Whisk this egg mixture together. The more you whisk, the fluffier it'll be. All right, looking good. Let this melt. And then you wanna just add your egg mixture and continuously stir. So when it's like this custardy texture, you're going to basically turn the heat off. Give it another stir or two. Add cheese to one side of the pan. Spread it out and put the scrambled eggs on top. The residual heat is gonna basically melt that cheese and make it super creamy and delicious and awesome. After it's sat a second, just give it a little stir. See how creamy, how nice and cheesy those eggs look. Who doesn't love eggs covered in cheese? And now we're gonna make this cinnamon bun even more awesome. Add half of this salted butter, smear it around, let it start melting. And then we're gonna take each half of the cinnamon bun and toast it. Give it a little stir to help it soak up all that butter and wait till it's toasty. So it smells really good. I'm gonna check it. Perfect. And then add the other little bit of salted butter and add the other half of the cinnamon bun, interior side down. So let's put this monster together. Start with your toasted cinnamon bun bottom and then add your cheesy scrambled eggs right on top. Add a few slices of Munster cheese. And most importantly, add all the bacon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you gotta top with the cinnamon bun. It is basically like morning heaven. 